Let's hop to an internet. Praise be to God, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, last time we played the Peach and Bowser segment at the end of Chapter 3, learned that the X Knots are trying to take over the world, and then Mario decided to react to this news by helping people out. Good for him. So, today we're going to do Merle's uh, Help Wanted Heartful Cake recipe. I want to make a heartful cake, but I forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open, so can you find the recipe I'm hoping? I first learned the recipe from Toast Tea. Yes, over in Petalburg, you see. Please meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath Rogueport. Hurry, hut! Alright. Does that mean that we can go to Toast Tea right away? Or... Do we have to go to Merle first? I don't know. We're going to Merle first, because she's kind of on the way. She is back here. Alright, talk to you back here. I really must know how to bake a yummy, tasty, heartful cake. To Petalburg you must go. Ask Toast Tea all she knows. But I know the recipe, because I've played this in the past. It's cake mix and ruin powder. Bother. Luckily, we have the shortcut to Petalburg, so this won't be too big of a deal. See you guys there. Alright, if memory serves, Toasty is found in one of these houses. Probably this one? Hello, girl toad. Yes, hello, I'm Toasty. Did you need something? What? You want to make a heartful cake? And who asked you, Merle? Let's see, I know you need cake mix and ruin powder. Tee hee hee! I wonder who Merle is making it for this time. Ooh. Cake mix plus ruin powder. Unfortunately, uh, she'll be like, Oh no, I'm out of cake mix. Boo, I need you to get me cake mix. So, we're going to the Pianta Parlor to get some cake mix. And some other prizes, of course. So to get cake mix, we gotta go to the Pianta Parlor. I've been meaning to play more anyways. So we have 19, so we could just buy it and go off. But I want to get some other stuff, so I'm gonna just suicide the coin game a bunch of... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm basically going to play the paper game a whole lot. That's what we call suiciding. So, maybe I'll show you sped up footage, or maybe I'll just cut to the end. Whoa! Toadstorm! I'm the only non-toad. Yep. 109 Piantas. <laughs> nope. Wanted to, no, I wanted to train in my winnings. 
Alrighty. Got some good stuff, good stuff. I mean, we want cake mix. And I want a refund badge. Refund, refund some coins if you use an item in battle. Cool. Um, do I really need Zap Tap? Probably not. There we go. And I've got quite a lot of Piantas to use for a future event. Because once we get more of those uh, special cards, we are all set to win some really nice prizes. Yes, I found your Heartful Cake recipe. I remember now! That's right, of course! Wow! Oh no, what shall I do? I have no cake mix! Boo-hoo! It's a heartful cake. You can't assume that there's no cake mix. And I can't leave my shop here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hate to ask, but you could you please, 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 please bring me some cake mix? I'm on my knees. I do have cake mix for you. Thank you, you're the best. You passed my trouble test. Cannot make a cake without cake mix, right? No doubt. And as so you make a heartful cake, mix ruin powder well to make the cake mix properly bake. I'm going to make it tonight, and it will be out of sight. Then I'll charm someone right. Thanks so much to you, dear. Here's your reward. Here. 30 coins. Nice. So now that we've got Sid, we can face plant right into the river and get eaten by a fish. No, no, no. What we can do is hover across here to this secret little island. Climb up on the roofs and have some fun. Star piece back behind the chimney. Ooh, I forgot about the shine sprite up here. That's already a nice boost towards our next partner. And then there's this guy up here. What you got on him, Goombella? That guy's name is Grifty. He's a laid-back rooftop minstrel type guy. He tends to know all of the stories that get passed around Rogueport streets. For a couple coins, he'll tell you one, and you never know, it might help on our travels. Good afternoon to you, sir. I'm called Grifty, the traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Rogueport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. The Fearsome Demon. For a mere five coins, I can share with you the tale of the Fearsome Demon. Tell me the tale! Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor, but it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, t'was a demon. The city sank below ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. And its den, its palace, grew rich with the treasures stolen from all over the world. If there's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. The Hero Who Arose One day there came a hero who could vanquish the fell demon. The young toad from Petal Meadows was strong of arm but shy of voice. All those around the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demon cast his fearful gaze across the lands and reached out, the young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people. And he became a hero to all, despite his odd voice. The Wise Goomba. For a mere five coins, I can share with you the tale of the Wise Goomba. There was a wise Goomba from Boggly Woods, gifted in the knowledge of the world. When beasts rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped the people fight them. And this Goomba, who knew the way that every monster would attack, she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land. Ooh. The stalwart Koopa. For a mere five coins? A Koopa who traveled the world alone turned tr learned of the darkness covering the land. He went alone wherever evil dwelt and banished it with shell and sheer bravado. 
The monsters grew to fear the scar-riddled Koopa who thwarted them at every turn. But the brave Koopa was finally taken in a trap set for him by the monsters. But then Abu, who fought with the monsters, came and used her magic to free him. The brave Koopa's spirit had melted the heart of the cold Boo lass. Hmm, four heroes. The Boo used her powerful magic to learn more about the evil they faced. We cannot destroy this darkness alone, she decided, her face a grim mask. We need the Toad Hero of Petal Meadows and the Wise Goomba of Boggly Woods. The Boo's magic drew the four heroes together to send the demon from the world. And so the four heroes finally set out for the Palace of Shadow. Ooh. Interesting backstory stuff. That's cool. Alright. <laughs> we need our speed back. And we have one more trouble we need to take care of. Jolene! I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me in the Glitz Pit. Okay. We're going back to Glitzville, everybody! Can you all believe it? We are going back to Glitzville once again! Seems like we just went here. Hey, Pineapple. Champion! Or, I mean, or, I mean, former champion Gonzalez! Why'd you give up the belt? If giving up the belt is like a water slide, what kind of swoon trunks do you wear? <laughs> Dude. Enough. I'm gonna be a fighter when I grow up! Yeah! That way I can carry on the fight after you're gone! But... <laughs> Great Mustache, have you really quit fighting? Yeah. You're the ex-champ, right? Yeah, the Great Gonzalez! I don't know if you know this, but, uh, your Yoshi's glitching out big time over there. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to get past the fence, but he just can't. That's kind of weird. Anyway, Miss Jolene is the fight promoter now. If you have business with her, head on down the hallway to the promoter's office, okay? Oh! Are you planning your comeback? Because that would be so awesome! <laughs> oh, that was funny. I mean, I'm here for business. What's that? You need to talk to Miss Jolene? Go on in. She's waiting. Yes, yes. Who is it? It's customary to knock before entering. Oh! Why, it's the Great Gonzalez! It's been too long! How have you been? Um... It's only been one episode. I must tell you, we've seen a big drop off in attendance since you've returned the belt. I was a touch worried. Our financials didn't look good too good for a while, but... Luckily, Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback in his reigning supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment! Are you coming back to fight? Great Gonzalez's return? You must be, right? Yes, yes you must be! Come on, tell me it's true! What?! You want to unretire and battle again?! <laughs> I always knew this day would come! Let me just find your old registration so we can... Huh? Ooh, ouch. I'm so sorry, but all our records of you seem to be gone. So our only option, sadly, is to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry! Sorry, but rules are rules. We can't bend them, even for an ex-champ. I'll just go ahead and put you on as a minor league fighter again, then. When you want to fight, you know the deal, use the locker room communicator. I will not be going over the arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. Okay, I'm not sure if you know this, but I'm here because of your request. You accepted that request? Well, fantastic! Let's get down to business. I need you to clear out the garbage in the storeroom. I can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage. I don't talk about it. Just put it somewhere where I can't see it, alright? Garbage in the storeroom. Got it. There wasn't, like, much garbage there when I came last. Oh! Okay, there is now. You got a battle trunks. Trunks some wrestler wore to tatters. Boy, they stink. Wow. 
Oh, no trunks in there. Okay. Had to check. That should be all of them. Hey girl, what's up? <laughs> I am totally spying on you. I forget if something actually happens if you spy on her for a while. I want to say it does. What is she do? She's literally just standing there, like... Doo -doo -doo, I got nothing better to do. Alright. Darn it. Spine is not as much fun as Hollywood makes it out to be. Uh, okay. Three more things of garbage put, were put in there, because apparently the game couldn't load it <laughs> all at once. You smell terrible! Oh no, you don't still have the garbage on you, do you? You have to take that stuff far away from here! I can't stand it! I know of a Goomba named Goomfree in Rogueport that buys stuff like that. What? I've already gotten in touch with him, so just get that trash out of here! Uh, what? There's a Goomba who buys used gym shorts that stink? Oh, that is weird. I'm normally not one to judge, but that is weird. Alright, but anyways, if we want, we can do the Glitz Pit again, and I kind of want to do it now. I know we just did the Glitz Pit, but if, if I do it now, I'll at least get some star points, and I'll skip like pretty much all of it anyways. So, might be worth it. We're going to have to come back to Jolene to take our, get our reward anyways, so we'll be there. You can always try it out. And if you're like, no, please go to the next world. Well, I'm sorry. These are the side quest videos. You should expect them to be boring, even though I love playing the side quest videos. Because for, mo for a lot of the time, I just don't talk. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was it that she wanted taken care of? <laughs> Not who? What you say? Well, fine, let's get it done. So, what are we doing here? Still some left. I guess we're done with this one. Man, I have never had a job this stinky. Make sure you get your dues for pay from this man. Don't know how to pronounce that word. I feel dumb. <laughs> there, I sold the garbage to some crazy Goomba. Pay me. You've cleared it all up. Well, here's your reward. You have my gratitude. 30 coins! I guess we won't be getting the smell out of that room anytime soon. Well, no. That's gonna be harder, but a few bottles of Febreze should do it. Anyway, back to the minor league. Hey, where's Sir Swoop? What's up, dog? Good seeing you again, finally, man. For real. Me, I unretired. Let's rock this joint. Gonzalez is back, bomb. It's an honor to bomb fight in the same arena again. Grr! Mustache better than Clefter when Clefter was mustache his age! <laughs> hey, how are you, Gonzalez? You're looking pretty good. Glad to see it. Welcome to the Automated Match Reserve System. What is your command? Oh yeah, never showed this off. If you view your rankings, you can see who you're up against. That's nice. Hello there, Mr. Gonzalez. Ready for a fight, are you? Well, alright then. Let me just check here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 19 in the Glitz Pit, the Goomba Bros. Pay attention. In this battle, I want you not to attack for the first three turns, okay? Boo. You have some sort of wild man reputation, so let's make them beg for it, okay? Now get in there and bring home the bacon, alright? 
Yeah, she lacks the charisma of Grubba, unfortunately. Don't get me wrong, Grubba was a terrible person, but he was hilarious. So, I do miss him. And we don't even get to attack for the first three turns. Ugh. Boring. In this next battle, we have the Superstar sequel, The Great Gonzalez, and the Meteorite Hardheads. Yes, a furious battle with the Goomba Bros. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? Remember, guys, we're bros. If we combine our strength, we'll ruin any bloody. Get ready to brawl! We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. <laughs> How that foretaste. That was a pretty decent battle, it being your first comeback fight and all. Still, the crowd didn't really get very into it, you know? Try to pump them up, okay? I was fighting Goombas. That's not going to be an interesting fight. Let me just fight Rockhawk right away, please. Hello there, Mr. Gonzalez. Ready for a fight, are you? Well, alright then. Let me just check here. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 18 in the Glitz Pit, the KP Koopas. Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer, alright? The press is ruining me over kids bonking each other with sticks, pretending to be you. Now get in there and let's see some acrobatics. Sounds like a plan. Habok! 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 Sorry, I can't use my hammer, gotta get it in now. Habok! 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 Mr. Gonzalez, I believe we told you not to use your hammer. But that was in the fight! This is just in the locker room! <laughs> In this next battle, we have the Superstar sequel, The Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yes, a furious battle with the KP Koopas. We aren't going to lose to scrubs like you! Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were going to square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to brawl! Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to avoid using any of your flower points. The crowd needs traditional, easy-to-follow fighting right now. No frills. Now get in there and show me something, alright? Habok! 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 <laughs> I was not beating him up with the hammer. There are no security uh, for the cameras in this room. You can't prove it. Ooh, one thing I should show off. Now that we have reinstated as a fighter in the Glitz Pit, we need to talk to the pineapple again. The pineapple, like, frequently has new weird stuff he asks you. It's pretty funny. Yo, yo, Greg Gonzalez, I hear you've thrown your hat back in the fighting ring. If your comeback is like a robot convention, are you an android or a cyborg? Ah, uh, but in all seriousness, we are just gonna clear the glitz bit. I'm probably gonna skip the whole rest of this. <laughs> the dead bones. Pay attention, in this battle I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I have a very important meeting in just a little bit, and I can't be late. Now get in there and bring this fight home quickly. So, Jolene apparently does not have a date with a hot chickadee. Or even a hot dude. Or even just a dude. Unless that was slain and I missed it. That quick enough for you, Jolene? Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to not fight, okay? Do not attack at all. Your partner's quite popular with this crowd, so please throw them a bone, alright? Now get in there and share that spotlight. I just realized Grubba never asked us to do that. He's like, the crowd loves your partner, so let them do all the work, okay? Now bring out the bacon, okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, Grubba. Why do the likable characters always have to turn out to be the villains? This one actually might be hard, because she told me not to attack for the first three turns. And these guys can hypercharge up. He's charging up. He's charging up. Thankfully, he did not charge up. Oh, boy. That actually hurt a lot.
It's turn free. Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to let your foe damage you five times, okay? It's awfully boring when a match is too one-sided, wouldn't you agree? Now get in there and kick some behinds, alright? You, Jolene, are cramping my style because you keep making me do the most annoying ones possible for each round. Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least three times. I want to see those people standing in their seats screaming their heads off. Now get in there and get them all riled up, alright? Mr. Gonzalez, you will battle in the Major League from this moment on. I haven't the time to explain everything again. Go to the Major League locker room. I am very busy, so please, have a nice day. You know, Grubba made time for some one-on-one. -on -one. He also killed people, but... <laughs> Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. What are you teaching kids about loyalty, always swapping partners out? Now get in there and stand by your friend. That'll be an easy one. Mr. Gonzalez, I've noticed your Yoshi's running into the back of the bed frame. Could you please make him stop that? Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to win before you take 20 HP of pain. Close matches are exciting, but hardcore fans want a real blowout once in a while, son. Now get in there and show me some grit, alright? Is that Grubba's line and they just didn't <laughs> replace it for Jolene? Because I can't picture Jolene actually saying that. She's like the very serious assistant. And that seemed like a line straight out of Grubba's mouth. Who's not serious at all, but alright. Power shell. Nine damage. Pay attention. In this battle, I want you to avoid using any items. Empty your pockets. People distrust a man who's always digging in his pockets, wouldn't you agree? Now get in there and knock some heads the old-fashioned way, alright? I was not planning on using items to begin with, so no worries there. Alright, I felt bad destroying this guy completely last time without showing off any of his moves. So we'll let him show off a couple more in this one. Yoshi can deal a lot of damage for every gulp. Unfortunately, he can also deal a lot of damage that way. Hi, everybody! It's me, Mario! That is hard to defend against. Yeah, that was fun. I don't think I actually had to appeal another time, but I did. How dare you. Poor Yoshi, I'm sorry. If I take up Zap Tap, Zap Tap and Pity Flower, and Refund, which I'm not really using, I can instead equip... Quick Change. That'll be nice. Hello there, Mr. Gonzalez. Ready for a fight, are you? Well, alright then. Let me just check here. Your next opponent will be... Current Champion in the Glitz Pit, Rockhawk. Pay attention, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? You need to show my paying customers all that fancy ninja stuff that you've been hiding. Now get in there and blow the roof off, alright? I'm not going to use a special move if I don't have to, which is why I didn't but until now. So yes, I have been fi hiding all my fancy ninja stuff. And lucky us, Rockhawk does not actually lock us in the room this time. He's much nicer now. Now for today's main event, after coming back to take the Major League's top rank, the Great Gonzalez will finally challenge the champion, Rockhawk. First to make his entrance, we have the Feral Nuclear Reactor, Rockhawk. Champ! Kick him! Eee! Rock him! 
Well, champ, tell us about your mindset. After all, today's challenger is the Great Gonzalez, the only man to ever wrestle the belt away from you. That's all ancient history! There's only one true champ, and that guy is Rock Hawk! One of us is walking out of here with the belt, and the other one's getting rocked! But champ, Gonzalez showed no signs of rust in climbing back up the ranks. He's shattered his own records one after another. How does that strike you? Hey, shut your trapper! This Gonzalez won't be the only one feeling the rock! I'm the champ! End of story! I'm a legend! And this legend is about to rock that dude! Big words from the champ! And now the challenger who needs no introduction. The former champ returns! The superstar sequel, The Great Gonzalez! 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 Jump man! Wait, who? <laughs> Whoa, they're going nuts! Title matches are so awesome! This rules! Let's do this! Rock on, man! Eee, Gonzalez, he's back! You the man! I love the Jumpman reference. Listen to the crowd give it up for the brave challenger, the great Gonzalez! It's been a while since these two met, but who will emerge victorious this time? The battle is ready to begin. Ring that bell! Rockhawk actually is slightly tougher the second time. Okay, Gonzalez, we were here before, so this ain't nothing. I'm all fired up, baby! <laughs> Time for you to meet the new improved Rock Hawk! Feel the horror of a world class rocking! Use at least one special move. I'll use that at the beginning. The new one, Power Lift, briefly increases your party's attack and defense power. So basically, orange arrows make your offense go up, blue arrows make your defense go up. Plus four attack, baby. Watch this Yoshi's attack because of the plus four attack. <laughs> Rockhog is taking a whooping. I guess power lift is underrated. I didn't use it all that much when I, uh, in the past. Oh, is Rockhog already dead? <laughs> Goodbye, Rockhog. Easy fight! <laughs> you just got rocked! No! I don't believe this! I Am I actually gonna get rocked again? Who could have seen this coming? You couldn't plan a more ferocious battle. Wild moves, raw power, fists and feathers of fury. What beautiful destruction! This was without a doubt, inarguably, definitely, absolutely, completely, an extreme battle of the very highest caliber. But there could only be one winner, and this time it was the Great Gonzalez! Congratulations, Gonzalez! Once again, you're our champion! That was a pathetically easy fight. I'm so sorry, Rock Hawk. Gonzalez! Gonzalez! I defeated him in, <laughs> in two turns! Congratulations, Gonzalez! I was a little worried that you were over the hill, but you made quite a comeback. You are a true champion. We got a champ's belt! The champ's belt you earned when you beat Rock Hawk. Now, I think I know what you're thinking. You plan to move on, don't you? Well, that's fine, of course. I'll keep you registered in case you ever wish to return. Come back and give the folks a frill every now and then. You know, defend your title. Of course, if you lose, you'll have to drop back down into the minor league. Or the major, major league. Well, then I'm rather busy, as usual, so you'll have to excuse me. I need to work out a plan to bring Rock Hawk back. That guy really draws crowds. Have a nice day, Gonzalez. Nice thing is we can use this to fight Rockhawk anytime we want. Alright, that is by far all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will actually go to the fourth world. I know you've all been waiting for it. So, tune in next time. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, and God bless.